Hello, welcome to another Houdini tutorial. So in this video, we're going to see how to create the water ripple effect. So which is a new node has been released in Houdini 20. So in order to create the ripple effect, first let us take a geometry and just we'll go inside. And now we'll create a grid to create the ripple effect. So we'll take a grid. And now we need to increase the like rows and columns for this grid. So if you want to create more realistic ripple, so we need to increase the number of rows and columns. So in this case, I'm going to give the value to like 500 by 500. So it depends on your system performance. You can increase more. Like if you want to create more realistic ripple effect, you can increase more. And now let us take a ripple solver. And just will connect to this first input. And also we'll connect this geometry to the second input also because the second input, second input is nothing but the displaced geometry. So now we want to displace this uh, grid here. So we'll connect this to the second input. And the third input is nothing but to create the collision. And suppose if you want to create any rain kind of effect, the collision objects will be connected to this ripple solver. So whenever we create the rain particles, then it will collide to this object and it will create the ripple effect here. So now what the thing is, in this case, we are going to convert this grid into points and laterally we will attach these pairs to the points here. So in order to do that, first we'll take an pop network. And after that, let us take the transform. So transform is to just to change the positions of the grid here. So I will connect this transform to this pop network and I will connect this grid to here. And now just I will enable this pop network. So now what the thing is, it has been created the random points using this grid here. And now we need to change the position. That means we need to move to the Y direction here. So we'll select this transform. So let's say I will give the value to like eight in the Y axis so that it will move the points to the Y direction. So it depends on your requirements. So from how much height you want to create the collision objects here. I think the height will be more. So let us give the value to like a two. So that's fine. And later, according to our requirement, we can change the positions of this thing here. And also just will scale the size of this grid here. So just I will select this and I will decrease it to like 0 0.7 or something. So just will template this thing. So what the thing is like uh, all the particles will fall within this grid here. So now we'll go inside this pop network. And now what the thing is just I will turn off this guide for time being. So select this and just I will turn off this guide. Now what the thing is I want to generate the particles only within the 30 to 40 frames. So we will give the small animation for this constant activation. So let us like uh, I will type dollar $ff less than like 40. So now what it will do is the particles will generate only within the 40 frames. So after that, it will stop generating the particles. So see now it has been stopped generating the particles after the 40 frames. So the birth rate of these particles is more, so we need to decrease. So here you can see there is an option like constant birth rate. So this will give the value to like uh, 15 or something. And now other thing is whenever we click on display, it is going to generate the particles, but we don't have any like force to fall down. So in order to do that, just we'll add a gravity force to this pop solver. So search for like gravity. And just we will connect to this thing here. And now whenever we click on display, so it is going to fall down. And now other thing is like whenever it is going to generate the particles, the particles are staying throughout this like entire scene so which will like be heavy for your scene so what the thing is just i want to kill this particle so what we'll do is just we will take a node called like pop kill so select this and connect here and just we'll create this uh bounding box so select this and enable so let us give the value to like 10 by 10 and also center just i will give the value to like minus one which will go to the ground level here so now it's ground level so now what the thing is the particles will die after like colliding to this morning box here so now we will see this thing so see now the particles has been died so now we'll go back and now what the thing is we'll create actual geometry instead of that point so in this case i'm going to take sphere and just i will select the sphere and i will convert into like polygons and also the size, let us give the value to like 0 0.15 or something. So now this is a sphere. And now the thing is like we have to replace this sphere into this point. So we need to take a node called like copy to points. So select this. So I think we need to connect this geometry to this first input and this pop network to here. And now this to this collision object. So now we will enable this thing. So now we got this sphere. So we'll see. 
So see, now it has been created the random like spheres. And see, and now it has been collided and we got this nice ripple effect. So just we'll zoom in and we'll play once again. Okay, we are seeing in this template mode, just I will enable this and now you can see it properly. So say we got this nice ripple effect. So we need to do some settings so that uh, you can like play with the values and you can create the realistic ripple effects here. And here, what the thing is, say whenever we see this ripple, like it is staying for a long time. We don't want the ripple should be stay for the long time. So it will not be realistic. So we need to create the realistic uh, thing. It's like it has to lose the energy. So now what we'll do is just if you select this ripple solver and if you go to this setup option and here you can see there is an option like conservation. So we need to decrease the value according to your requirement so that it will decrease the time duration of the ripple here. So let's say, for example, if I give the value to like 0 0.3 or something. So now we'll see. Okay, so see now it is losing the energy of the ripples and now it is going to fade out. So it depends. So let us decrease more like 0 0.2. So it depends what kind of object you are uh, creating for the collision. So if it is a heavy object, then it is going to create the ripple like according to the size of this object here. So it's up to you. Like you can play with these values. And literally what the thing is just whenever it is going to collide, it is creating this weird shape here. So we want to smooth this thing like after creating the ripple. So now see now. So what we can do is like finally we can connect this smooth option. Uh, so after this ripple solver, if you connect this smooth, so make sure you have to save this thing before like increasing the value of this mode. So this may crash your system like, okay. So just let us save control S. And I will enable this smooth. So see, now we got this smooth. And here you can give the strength. Uh, so let's say we will start with the two value. So see, now if you want more smooth, like more ripples, we need to decrease the strength of this thing here. So now we'll see this thing. So it will take time because we have increased the geometry like resolution. So according to that, it will take time. So like, we got this thing, so we are getting this smooth ripple. So if you want to create more smoothness, just we can increase the strength of this thing. So you need to play with these values until you get this uh, desired output. And if you are satisfied, just you can render and you can give the material for this thing. And also we can increase uh, like wind speed of this ripple solver. Here you can see that, sorry, like wave speed. So if you increase, like let's say if I give the value to like 0 0.4 or something, then the speed of this ripples will be more like and just uh, for timing i will disable this mode and we'll see this thing how the animation is going to play so like so this is nice so we got this nice realistic uh, ripple simulation here and if you want you can decrease the conservation it depends as i said according to your requirement like uh, whatever the geometry are going to connect and just you need to explore some of the values in this ripple solver. So like if I go to this ripple like thickness here, so if you click on this play, so now it is okay. Suppose if you decrease the thickness, like now it is not affecting that much means like, so it depends, it will define the like uh, viscosity of the liquid. So according to that, you can increase and decrease the thickness. So you need to play with these values. So in this way, we can create this ripple effect by using this ripple solver. So which is new in Houdini 20. And literally you can apply the like realistic materials like water materials, which is in Houdini. And so if you want to watch how to create the realistic water materials and how to render with Karma, you can watch my previous videos. Just I will put the link in the description. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.